Hello everyone and welcome to this EO Masters mini tutorial. Mini but mighty. I have talked already about different resolutions in optical earth observation data. The spatial resolution of radar systems is worth a closer look. The platform travels forward with the nadir directly beneath the platform. The microwave beam is transmitted obliquely to the direction of flight illuminating a swath which is offset from nadir. The range direction refers to the across track dimension perpendicular to the flight direction, while the azimut direction refers to the along track dimension parallel to the flight direction. The angle theta l is the angle at which the radar observes the earth also called look angle. The angle between the radar beam and the ground surface is named incident angle theta i. This observation geometry is typical for imaging radar systems. The image resolution of radar systems is determined by the characteristics of the microwave radiation and the shape of the objects. The resolution can be split into two determining components, the range resolution and the azimut resolution. The effective pulse length defines the range resolution. The azimut resolution is determined by the angular width of the microwave beam and the slant range distance resulting in the pulse footprint. As the radar illumination propagates to increasing distance, the azimut resolution becomes coarser. The range or across track resolution is dependent on the length of the pulse. Two distinct targets on the surface will be resolved in the range dimension if the separation <coughs> sorry, is greater than half the pulse length. For example, targets A and B will not be separable, uh, while targets C and D will. Slant range resolution remains constant, independent of range. However, when projected into ground range coordinates, so resolution and ground range will be dependent of the incidence angle. Thus, for fixed slant range resolution, the ground uh, range resolution improves with increasing range. The azimut or along track resolution is determined by the angular width of the radiated microwave beam and the slant range distance. The beam width is a measure of the width of the illumination pattern. As the radar illumination propagates to increasing distance from the sensor, the azimut resolution becomes coarser. The radar beam width is inversely proportional to the antenna length, the aperture, which means that a longer antenna will produce a narrower beam and a finer resolution. It seems you enjoyed this video or at least find it useful. So it would be helpful for me if you consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. So more videos to come in the future. Thank you! To improve range resolution, we can use shorter pulses of radar waves, but this is limited by design constraints. We can also use longer antennas to improve azimut resolution, but the length is limited by the observation platform and what it can carry. Most airplanes can only carry antennas of 1 or 2 meters, while satellites can have antennas of 10 to 15 meters. To get around this limitation, we can use the movement of the platform and some clever processing to make it seem like we have a very long antenna. This is called synthetic aperture radar. I hope this video could illuminate how the spatial resolution for radar sensors is determined. Thank you for watching and maybe you want to check out my Twitter uh, X channel. Tschüss and goodbye!